The Song of Songs, or Song of Solomon, an advertisement. Although I have largely rendered this song already, yet because some may love more the paraphrase of the words than of the meaning, which I principally, though not only, intended in the preceding paraphrase, therefore I thought it would not be unsuitable or needless to subjoin the following paraphrase for that end. And although I have still judged, and do yet judge that there can be no more sweet, smooth, and soft expressions used than are in the text itself, and that they run so sweetly and poetically, as there seems but little needed of a paraphrase, yet because they cannot be sung, at least so well, except they be clothed with a paraphrase, therefore have I been induced thereto. Especially considering the little labor that they cost me, having composed the whole within less than the compass of one day. So that this following paraphrase may be sung after the same manner that the psalms are, with any of the common tunes, upon which consideration I have translated this song in this place, in the same verse in which our paraphrase of the psalms is rendered, giving it likewise no other title or designation. And if in anything I vary and differ from our English translation of this book, the comparing of the same with the foregoing paraphrase and annotations will demonstrate on what reason or ground I do so. In meter which may be sung with any of the common tunes. Chapter 1 The Song of Songs, which is on earth. By far the rirest song. Whose subject, Christ, whose penman is. The wisest Solomon. Let him me with the kisses of his mouth, which is divine. Kiss and embrace, for why, thy love, excels the far best wine. Yeah, such is the sweet favor of Thine ointments which excel, that even like to ointment sweet, thy name doth yield a smell. Hence is tea that thou so much art loved, by every virgin pure, who so enamoured are, that they, thy absence can't endure. Draw me, and cause me walk aright. Run after thee will we. The king into his chambers rare, hath introduced me. Will glad be and rejoice in thee. Nought shall from mind remove. Thy love, will mind it more than wine. The upright thee do love. O daughters of Jerusalem. I'm black, but yet am fair. Like Kedos sun scorched tents, and like. To Solomon's curtains rare. Despise me not, though black, and though. The sun looked on me if. My mother's children angry were. And in the heat of wrath. They made me, as a slave, to keep the vineyards all the day. But oh alas, my own vineyard, unkept the meantime lay. O oh thou, thou whom my soul doth love, tell me in what he'd mead. Thou makes thy flocks at noon to reft, and where thou them dost feed. For why should I be like to one, that turns from thee aside, the flocks of thy companions, a vagabond beside. O thou most fair of women all! If thou that do not know, then by the footsteps of the flock, see that with care thou go. Unto these marks and footsteps see, that thou do take good heed. And there, beside the shepherd's tents, take care thy kids to feed. I have compared thee, my love, unto a company of rare and stately horses, which in Pharaoh's chariots be. Thy cheeks with rows of jewels are most comely to behold. Thy stately neck adorned is with chains of purest gold. Lo likewise on thy ornaments of gold will borders frame and silver studs most curially will raise upon the fame. While thy king doth at his table sit, my spikenard yields its smell. My love to me a bundle is of myrrh that doth excel. He'll lie all night betwixt my breasts. I will not let him go. A cluster his of camphor, which doth at Ian Jedi grow. Behold, thou art all fair, my love. Thou art all fair to me. Thy lovely eyes do seem of doves, the very eyes to be. Thou art ye fair, my love, and pleasant all. Green also is our bed. Our house its beams of cedar are. Of fur our gorries made. Chapter 2 I am the sweet and lovely rose, a witch doth in Sharon grow, and the fair lily of the vale, which doth so pleasant show, like to the lily which doth stand, the thorns thick among, so doth my fairest love excel, the daughters every one. As thy apple tree among the trees, 
which in the forest be. So doth my well-beloved surpass. All sons on earth that be. Lo, with delight and pleasure great. Below his shadow placed. I was, and of his fruit did take. Which sweet was to my taste. Unto the house of banqueting. By him I then was brought. And over me his banner sweet. Of naught but love was wrought. Stay me with flagons, comfort thou. My soul with apples sweet. For why with love I'm overcome. And of the same am sick. Lo, his left hand's below my head. And doth support the fame. While as his right hand doth embrace. My cheek, whence comforts flame. By thy rose and hind sow thy field, I charge. You, Zion's daughters all. That ye do not awake my love. Until himself he shall. The voice of my beloved. Lo. How he doth leaping come. Upon the mountains. Lo, how he. On thy hills doth leap and run. Like a young heart, or roe, he is. Behind our wall lo he. Doth stand, forth at the windows through. The lattice him I see. My best beloved spake to me. And unto me did say. Rife up, my love, my fairest one. Rise up and come away. For lo the winter's overpassed. The rain is over and gone. The flowers on earth appear, the time. When birds do sing, is come. The mournful turtle's voice is heard. Already in our land. The green and tender figs do now. Upon the fig tree stand. The vines smell sweetly, and the grapes. Which on the same doth stay. Arise my love, my fairest one. Rise then and come away. My dove, who stays in clefts of rocks. And in the holes of stairs. Make me thy sweet voice hear, and see. Thy countenance so fair. Let us the foxes take, the small. And little foxes, which. Our vines, which now have tender grapes. Do spoil and hurt so much. My best beloved is mine, and I. Am his likewise I know. Lo, he among the lilies fair. Doth feed, and there doth go. Turn, my beloved like row or heart. On Betha hills which stay. Until the day do break, and all. The shadows flee away. Chapter 3 By night him whom I loved I fought. When as in bed confined. Him there I for a while did seek. But him I could not find. I now will rise, I said, and go. The city round about. Him whom I love, I in the streets. And broadways will seek out. I sought him, but I found him not. The watchman found out me. Who it do keep, to whom I said. My love oh did you see. Scarce was I from them gone, when lo. I found him whom I sought. I held and would not let him go. Until I him had brought. Into my dearest mother's house. And caused him for to see. The rooms and chambers all of her. Who had conceived me. By thy rose and hinds over field, I charge. You, Zion's daughters all. That ye do not awake my love. Until himself he shall. Who's this that from the wilderness? Like smoky pillars comes. Perfumed with myrrh, frankincense, and the merchant's choice perfumes. Behold, behold his bed, which is the bed of Solomon, round which watch sixty valiant men of Israel each one. They all hold swords, expert they are in all the feats of fight. Each man his swordeth on his thigh against the fear of night. King Solomon, for his own use. A chariot did frame. Of the choice wood of Labaran. The pillars of the same. Of silver were, the bottom gold. With purple decked above. It was, for Zion's daughters it. Within was paved with love. Go forth, O Zion's daughters, and. Behold King Solomon. With the rich crown which he doth wear. His royal head upon. Wherewith his mother him did crown. On his espousal's day. 
And on the day when gladness great, his heart did wholly sway. Chapter 4. Behold thou art all fair, my love. Thou art all fair to me. Thy lovely eyes within thy locks. Dove's eyes do seem to be. Thy hair is as a flock of goats. Seen from Mount Gilead. Thy teeth are as a flock of sheep. Shorn and comely made. Which from the washing came, of which. Each twins bears in its womb. Which also fruitful are, that none. Is barren them among. Thy lips like scarlet threads are, and. Speech sweet, thy temples are. Like to a piece of pomegranate. Within thy locks so fair. Thy neck is like to David's tower. Built for an armory. Where hang a thousand bucklers, shields. Of mighty men which be. Thy two breasts are like two young rows. That twins are, and which feed. Among the lovely lilies fair. In a delightful mead. I'll go, and on the hills of myrrh. And of frankincense stay. Until the day do break, and all. The shadows flee away. Thou art all fair, my dearest love. Thou art all fair to me. No spot nor imperfection. Is seen to blemish thee. Come, spouse, with me from Lebanon. From Lebanon with me. From off the top of Amarna. Look downwards with thine eye. From Sheeni and from Hermon's top. From lion's caves and dens. From off the mountains, on the witch. The leopards remain. My spouse and sister, thou hast quite. Of my heart robbed me. With one eye glance, with one chain of. Thy neck I ravished be. How fares thy love, my sister, spouse? How much doth it excel? All wine. Thy ointments do exceed. All spices in their smell. Thy lips drop as the honeycomb. And underly thy tongue. Do milk and honey, all thy clothes. Do smell as Lebanon. My sister dear a garden is. Which is enclosed well. A spring shut up, and fountain on. The which is set a seal. Thy plants a curious orchard are. Of pomegranates most rare. With fruits most pleasant, camphor is. With rarest spikenard there. There's spikenard, saffron, calamus. Frankincense, cinnamon. Myrrh, aloes do grow, with all. The spice is chief each one. A fountain thou art of gardens, and. A well of floods which run. And which down from Mount Lebanon. In rivulets do come. Awake, O north wind, and thou south. And on my garden blow. That so the spices thereof may. Out in abundance flow. Let my far bell beloved come. Into his garden, where. He may solace himself, and eat. His fruits most pleasant there. Chapter 5. Into my garden I am come. My spouse and sister dear. My myrrh, with my sweet spice, I have. Already gathered here. My comb and honey I have eat. And drunk with milk my wine. Eat friends, and drink abundantly. And don't for want repine. I sleep, but still my heart's awake. My love's sweet voice I hear. Who knocks, and says, open to me. My love, my sister dear. My dove, my underfilled, for why? My head is filled with dew. And all my locks with drops of rain. Is wet this night of new. My coat I have put off, how then? Shall I put on the same? My feet I washed have, how shall? I them defile again. My bell beloved did put his hand. In by the door its hole. Whereat straightway for him, within. My bowels all did roll. I rose to him to open, and. My hands with myrrh did drop. And all my fingers with sweet myrrh. On thy handles of the lock. I opened unto him, but lo. My best beloved was gone. My soul failed, him I sought, I called. But answer could have none. The watchmen, who the city keep. Found, smote, and wounded me. The keepers of the walls with spite. Made me unveiled to be. O daughters of Jerusalem. I charge you, if ye find. My well beloved, to tell him that. Of love I'm sick and pined. What's thy beloved more than ours? Most fair of women or. What is he more than ours, that thou? 
Dust so us charge and call. My love is white and ruddy, all. And comely for to see. The chief among ten thousand, he. Can never matched be. His head upon him is like to. The choice and purest gold. His locks are bushy, raven black. And comely to behold. His eyes are as the eyes of doves. Which bathe in waters clear. With milk they're washed, and sitly set. And lovely do appear. His cheeks of spices are a bed. Which flowers sweet do crown. His lips like lilies are, from which. Sweet smelling mud drops down. His hands as gold rings are, set with. The barrel curiously. His bowels are as sap high as rare. Set in bright ivory. His legs as marble pillars are. On golden sockets placed. His countenance as Lebanon. With stately cedars graced. His month of sweetness is the hive. Of love his all composed. O Zion's daughters. Here's my love. And friend, whom I have loosed. Chapter 6 Where's thy beloved gone, O thou? Of women almost fair. Where is he turned aside, that we? May seek thee with him there. My love's down to his garden gone. And beds of spices there. Within the gardens for to feed. And gather lilies fair. My best beloved is mine, and I. Am his likewise I know. Lo he amongst the lilies fair. Doth feed, and there doth go. As teaser thou art beautiful. Fair as Jerusalem. My love, and as a bannered host. Thou terrible dost seem. Turn, turn away thine eyes from me. Thine eyes which sparkle so. For they quite ravished have my heart. And do me overthrow. Thy hair is as a flock of goats. Seen from Mount Gilead. Thy teeth are as a flock of sheep. Shorn and comely made. Which from the washing come, of which. Each twins bears in its womb. Which also fruitful are, that none. Is barren them among. Like to a piece of pomegranate. Thy lovely temples are. And have a pleasant comely show. Within thy locks so fair. Three score there are of queens, there are. Of concubines four score. Likewise, than can well numbered be. There are of virgins more. My dove, my undefiled is one. Her mother's only one. She is, and the choice one of her. Who bear her in her womb. The daughters did her see, and did. On high her virtues raise. The queen and concubines her saw. And did her also praise. Who's she that looks as morning? As. The moon? Yeah, sun most clear. And as a bannered army doth. Most terrible appear? I to the garden went of nuts. To see the valley's fruit. To see if thy vine did flourish, and. The pomegranates did sprout. Or ever I was once aware. My soul did raise up me. And made me as the chariots of. A mean adapt to be. Return, O Shulamite. Return. That we may look on thee. What is there in me? As of two. Vast hosts the company. Chapter 7 How comely are thy feet with shoes, O prince's daughter! And thy thighs its joints like jewels are, wrought by a skilful hand. Thy navel like a goblet is, which liquor doth not want. Thy belly like a heap of wheat, round which men lilies plant. Thy two breasts, like to two young rows, that twins are, seem to be. Thy stately neck is like unto a tower of ivory. Thine eyes like Heshbon's fish pools, by Bath Rabbim Gate, do seem. Thy nose as Lebanon's tower, whence Damascus town is seen. Thy head on thee as Carmel is, as purple is thy hair. The king is held, as captive, in the galleries most rare. Thou art most fair, my dearest love. Thou pleasant art to me. Delights can't center and do meet. Together all in thee. Thy stature thus appeareth like unto a fair palm tree, and like the clusters of the same. Thy breasts do seem to be. I said, I will go up unto this palm tree, and take hold of its fair boughs, now shall thy breasts sweet wine to me unfold. As clutters of the vine, thy nose 
as apples sweet shall smell. Thy mouth its roof shall likewise yield. Sweet wine that doth excel, which going sweetly down, shall cause the lips of those that sleep for to awake, and wondrously of mysteries to speak. I do to my beloved belong. This certainly I know. Yeah, his desire is towards me. His love he doth me show. Come, my beloved, let us go forth. Into the lovely field. Let us lodge in the villages. These harmless pleasures yield. Let's early to the vineyard go. And see the fruitful vine. Whether the tender grapes appear. And pomegranates do spring. There, there my loves I will impart. And their delight in thee. The mandrakes give a pleasant smell. And at our gates there be. All sorts of pleasant fruits, both new. And old, which there I placed. To entertain thee, O my love. When thou shalt be my guest. Chapter 8. O that thou as Ray brother wert. Who sucked my mother dear. Without I should thee find and kiss. Yet no reproach should fear. I would thee lead, and thee within. My mother's house would bring. Where thou shouldst me instruct, and make. Expert in everything. There I would cause thee for to drink. Of choice and spiced wine. As also of my pomegranate. The liquor rare and fine. Lo, his left hand's below my head. And doth support the same. While as his right hand doth embrace. My cheek, whence comforts flame. O daughters of Jerusalem. A charge I give you all. That ye do not awake my love. Until himself he shall. Who is this that thus cometh up? Out from the wilderness. Leaning upon her best beloved. With pomp and joyfulness. I thee did raise, when as thou lay. Below the apple tree. There did thy mother bring thee forth. There did she bring forth thee. Seal me upon thine heart and arm. For cruel is the grave. Is jellufi, love strong as death. Its coals fire flaming have. By floods and many waters love. Can't quenched or drowned be. Whose forty all should give, would be. Contemned utterly. A little sister, without breasts. We have, what shall we do? In thy day when as our sister shall. Be spoken for to you. If she a wall prove, we on her. Will silver turrets build. If she a door prove, we with boards. Of cedar will her mould. I am a wall, my breasts do stand. As turrets thereon round. Then was I in his eyes as one. Who grace and favour found. King Solomon a vineyard at. Balhaman had, which he. Let out to keepers, who should all. Of it observant be. Each one a thousand pieces was. Of silver for to bring. For his allotted part, as that. Which due was unto him. My vineyard is before me, thou. O Solomon, must have. A thousand, and two hundred they. Who do its fruit receive. Thou who dost, in the gardens dwell. Thy fellows all give ear. Unto thy voice attentively. Cause me the same to hear. Make haste, my love, like to a row. Be thou, or nimble heart. Upon the spicy mountains. Come. Let's meet, and never part.